read that scriptures in Deuteronomy 11, 19 through 20, mm -hmm. and talks about God instructing us to teach our children, right? Mm -hmm. And that means there's no way we can teach our children without <coughs> biblical values, right? Yes. Without, without biblical principles, mm -hmm. because that's what established them, especially during their developmental stage, right? Yep. That's what we. That's that's where we do, uh, draw our strength that's when true. we were uh, training our children. That's so, true. So, so what? Uh, what's your take on that? I think she mentioned some key things. First mm -hmm. and foremost, yeah. a big shout out to Bethesda Christian School. Yeah. Um, they're blessed with amazing leadership there mm -hmm. from yes. um, um, your principal and your dean and just everyone there. Um, you mentioned the fact that. For each one of you, you are able to teach the children in bringing out the gifts that is in them. And that's the essence of education. And you mentioned the fact that you tend to go towards college prep. So we've heard, we've heard you know, a lot of parents say, well, I don't think my children are cut out for college. So do you happen to have any such? Or if people are looking into Christian education, are all always tending towards college, mm -hmm. of course, because, you know, they do pay. There's um, a tuition and, you know, things like that associated with that. So how do you address that in your school, for example? Right. So that's a great question. Uh, mm -hmm. God has designed each of us individually with individual gifts and talents, and not everyone is designed for the same purpose, and their life mm -hmm. purpose is... It, Everyone's life purpose is different and, okay. and completely um, completely what God designed them to do. Right. So if college is what God has for our students, then we mm -hmm. want to prepare them to be the best college students that they can possibly be. If they are um, on a path for a different life calling, if they're um, on the path to go directly into the mission field or maybe to be uh, someone that participates in the fine arts or someone that has just a great giftedness in, um, in other fields that don't necessarily require or um, aren't necessarily enhanced by college experience, then we want mm -hmm. to support that and scaffold that student to be able to, to meet their calling as well. So college is a big part of that because most of our students do want to go on to college and that's mm -hmm. how they've been gifted. But what we really uh, aim to do is take academics and character education and prepare them to serve. And that service may include going to college and, and um, taking a career path that way, or it may include just serving within the context of their family or in their neighborhood or in their communities. So however God has designed them, we want to be good stewards of that. Mm. Well, I like that, you know, especially when, uh, you know, Ms. Schiffler is talking about you know, they, you know, where children get to pick and choose, you know, based on what they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. Whether they're passionate to, you know, to go into technical field, or liberal arts, or to science and stuff, they prepare them, they give them the foundation yeah. that they need to be successful, yeah? That's so basically, it's not just saying, well, because this is a private school or Christian school, we only talk Bible. That's true. So, and I like that. Yeah. yeah. I like the fact that mm -hmm. she highlighted the fact that they have two key things, mm -hmm. academics and mm -hmm. character education. I like, and I think good. those two mm -hmm. are really the foundation of making sure that children get a solid quality education. You see? Mm -hmm. And those two things are highly important to be good citizens yes. and to be good leaders in our, country. In, in our country. So if you're thinking about that, you have children, and then you're thinking about educating them and then trying to make the choice or make the decision on that, please consider some of those things. That's very true. Well, some of the questions yes. that we have, so I will start off with mine please. here. Um, the Pew Research um, has conducted uh, the similar trend that we have in the church and in the circular culture. And Pew Research does a lot of um, uh, research as it relates to Christians in general. So uh, someone might ask, what are the benefits of Christian education? I know we've talked about the academics. I know we've talked about character education. But when we look at the fact that this Pew Research says that in the secular as well as in the Christian realm, it seems that things are not all that different. Mm -hmm. So if you take into consideration that research, then someone might ask, 
what is the benefit of Christian education? Mm -hmm. Because it does cost money, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not free like our public education is. Mm -hmm. And so if this research is saying that we have similarities in terms of mindset or the culture, then why should anyone consider Christian education? What are the benefits? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the main benefit for our family when we were looking into deciding what, how we wanted our family to be educated is that Christ is infused in every aspect of our day at Bethesda Christian School. So it's in our curriculum, uh, Christ is in um, our, our relationships with other people, uh, it's in the way that we serve. And so God doesn't become a God of Sunday where mm -hmm. you go to church and you worship him, which, which you should do and we're called to do. Um, but he's, his design and his, um, his desire to know our, our students is part of every moment of their day. They begin their day with prayer, they begin their day with Bible, and um, recently we just completed our standardized